Finally, cooler weather has arrived and late summer dew settles on the ground. The droplets transform the peeling rough skin of the gentle giants. When wet, the bark feels like leather, smooth and soft, almost impermeable. The gentle giants continually inspire me. For one, they are resilient. Their limbs may drop by human hand, drought or storm. In the face of such adversity, I have witnessed time and time again that the tree will dig deep and find the will to reshoot. They have taught me how to persevere. And as I have found, perseverance is fueled by rest and reflection. When I take time to reflect, buds of wisdom are offered to me and they carry me forward. For me, the easiest place to rest and reflect is in nature. And I'm curious, Wonder Weavers, where do you like to ponder, potter, play and daydream. I'd love you to share with me in the comments below. Hello Wonder Weavers. Already we've arrived in February and I'm curious, how did you find January? Perhaps you'd like to share a highlight with us in the comments below or you might like to share with us how your projects are going. I always love to read your stories and your comments. This week I've been thinking a lot about water and in particular plumbing and for the Enchanted Cottage I've decided that there will be no indoor plumbing as such so for example in the kitchen there's going to be a dry sink and this week I made a well and I can't wait to share with you uh, my little adventure. For the dollhouse I'm thinking that I will attempt to create areas or scenes of running water so I look forward to that challenge and I hope to get back to that project soon at the moment, inspiration is just flowing for the Enchanted Cottage and uh, I'm following. And before we leap into this week's adventure, I just thought I would remind you that in the description are time steps and these help you navigate through my vlogs. So for example, you might be most interested in how I make certain things or you might just want to watch my wonder walks and uh, listen to uh, my updates. Up to you. you. You decide what you would like to view. Um, and as always, I'm incredibly grateful for your support. So thank you. Now, let us make a well. This week I made a mini old-fashioned well for the Enchanted Cottage. I first went rummaging through my mountain of recyclables. Looking for something circular, I discovered this yogurt container and I think it will work well. Heights of wells can vary 
and I've decided to make mine fairly shallow. With a sharpie I draw a line around 2cm from the bottom of the container and then cut the base of the container out. Next I take the lid of an egg carton and with a graphite pencil I trace around the mouth of the container and then with my scissors I cut the circle out and then glue it to the base of the container. Next, with the help of egg cartons, I make the stone walls of the well. For the stones, I tear up an egg carton into small pieces. I start by covering the rim of the container. As the container is made out of plastic, I'm using a multi-purpose glue to glue the egg carton stones. As you can see, I'm bending the egg cut in pieces before I glue them to the top of the container. And for the stubborn pieces that just won't stay down, I secure them in place with a peg until the glue dries. Next, I glue a row of pieces around the bottom of the container. I make sure to fill the tiny gaps in between the larger stones with smaller pieces of egg carton. Then I follow the same steps and add egg carton pieces to the interior of the container. Next I whack on the frame that will support the thatched roof. For posts I'm going to use two dowel rods. So I mark out the height and then cut the rods to size. My mini well is inspired by old fashioned wells. I'm going to make a bucket which will be suspended over the well shaft by a winch and rope. For the winch, I'm going to use floral wire. To hold it in place, I'm going to need to thread it through the post. So in each rod around four centimeters from its bottom, I drill a hole with my awl. I then glue the post into place. As mortar, I apply in between the stones a layer of acrylic filler. The one I'm using is a multi-purpose filler that I found from my local hardware store. Once the filler is completely dry, I sand it then I paint the stones with acrylic paint and also the posts. I make the stones inside of the well slightly darker than those of the exterior. This I hope will help to create the impression of depth. Next I create imitation water with resin. I mix first the resin and hardener, following the product's instructions. I pour the resin, filling it up about two thirds of the way, and then leave it to dry for about a day. While the resin is setting, I turn to making a conical shaped thatch roof. On craft paper, I draw a 12 centimeter in diameter circle and then cut it out and then cut a straight line from the outer edge to the center. I overlap the newly cut edges, creating a cone shape, and then glue down the overlap. I then tease the end of jute twine. 
then glue down the teased end of the strand to a one centimeter strip of craft paper. I repeat these steps until I've completely covered the strip. To help hold the strands in place, I add a little bit of PVA glue with my paintbrush every now and again. Once dry, I trim the strips. One of the challenges of making a conical shaped roof is that the longer strips won't sit flat. So I tear them into smaller sections and then glue them, starting first at the bottom The well is going to sit on a wooden platform. To make this platform, I simply glue a series of craft sticks together with wood glue. Once dry, I draw a circle with my compass. This is larger than the well. While trying to cut the circle out, I realize that the glue didn't create a strong enough bond. So on craft paper, I trace the contours of the platform and cut it out and glue it to the craft sticks. I sand the edges of the platform once the glue is dry and paint it with watered down acrylic paint. A bucket is the last item I need to make. On the back of a flower box, I draw a one centimeter in diameter circle and then cut it out. Next, I cut out a 4.5 strip of white cardstock. I then glue the strip around the edges of the circle. I then cut up the leftover craft sticks from the platform. I will use these as the wooden panels for the bucket. As I cut 1.5 centimeter lengths, the craft stick splits, which is good because I want the panels to be quite thin. I try and make them as equal as I can, and then I glue them one by one to the white cardstock. Once the glue is set, I gently sand both ends of the bucket. I then paint the bucket with acrylic paint. Finally, I turn to making the handle. I glue shredded craft paper around a short length of floral wire. Once dry, I paint the paper with acrylic paint. Next, with a small strip of cardstock, I make a paper bead.
this will be part of the handle for the bucket. I've wrapped the paper around the end of my paintbrush to help me achieve the tubular shape and then I glue down the edges. Later I paint the paper bead. Once dry I thread the paper bead onto the wire and then bend the wire into a U shape and trim it. And then glue the ends to the interior walls of the bucket. Now it is time to finish assembling the well. I first create the winch by threading floral wire through the holes of the posts. Then on one end with my nose pliers, I bend the wire to a 90 degree angle. Then I glue a small wooden bead onto the end and this will be the handle. I tie a short piece of thread to the handle of the bucket and its other end to the winch. I can now finish the frame. I glue a painted craft stick which is just a fraction longer than the well to the top of the post. For water effects, I paint little ripples with PVA glue. I made sure beforehand to test the glue and make sure that it dries clear. Then I set the roof on its support and add the very last touches. Oh look, a fawn is visiting the well. Thank you for watching Wonder Weavers. If you would like to connect with me on other platforms or view my art, all of the details are in the description. Until the next time Wonder Weavers, please take care, stay well and don't forget to play. Adios. Ciao. There is a little gathering at the well. Fawn and Squirrel are enjoying a nice big drink. I wonder who else will come to visit the cottage.